hello everyone and welcome back to the channel to all my returning subscribers thank you for your support throughout the year 2022 if this is your first time become a part of the family by hitting that subscribe button let's get right into today's quiz Which Old Testament prophet wrote, Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a son. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Isaiah, Jeremiah, or Obadiah. The correct answer is Isaiah, and you can find the scripture in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Which books give a detailed account of the birth of Jesus? Is it A, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? B. Matthew and Mark, or C. Matthew and Luke. The correct answer is Matthew and Luke, and you can find the account of the birth of Jesus in Matthew chapters 1 and 2 and Luke chapter 2. Who was Jesus' earthly father? Was it Jacob, Joseph, or John? The answer is Joseph. And you can find this reference in Matthew chapter 1, verse 16. Which angel appeared to Mary? Was it Gabriel, Michael, or Raphael? The answer is Gabriel. And you can find this reference in Luke chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. Where was Jesus born? Was he born in Goshen, Nazareth, or Bethlehem? The answer is Bethlehem. And you can find this reference in Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Fill in the blank, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Blank, for he will save his people from their sins. The missing word is Jesus, and you can find this in Matthew chapter 1, verses 21. Fill in the blank. Then Joseph, being aroused from blank, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife. The missing word is sleep, and you can find this in Matthew chapter 1, verses 24.
fill in the blank. And he came and dwelt in the city called blank, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. The missing word is Nazareth. And you can find this in Matthew chapter 2, verses 23. Fill in the blank. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a blank? The missing word is man, and you can find this in Luke chapter 1, verses 34. Fill in the blanks. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of blank, blank which will be to all people. The missing words are great joy, and you can find it in Luke chapter 2 verses 10. Who told Joseph that there was no room at the inn? Was it Mary, an angel, the innkeeper, or the Bible didn't say? Where was Jesus laid after he was born? Is it a stable, a crib, or in a manger? The correct answer is manger, and you can find this reference in Luke chapter 2, verse 7. According to the Bible, which animals were present at the birth of Jesus? Was it a donkey and a sheep? A cow, a sheep, and a donkey? Or the Bible didn't say? No animal was mentioned. Most nativity plays feature adorable children in costumes portraying various animals. But the Bible doesn't mention any animal being present at the birth of Jesus. How many wise men went to see Jesus? Is it two, three, four, or unknown? The correct answer is unknown. We assume that there were three wise men because of the three gifts that were offered. However, the Bible did not give us the exact number of wise men. Which gift was not offered by the wise men? Gold, silver, myrrh, or frankincense? The answer is silver. Please read Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. Where did the wise men find Jesus? Was it in a house, a stable, or a manger?
the correct answer is in a house and you can find that in Matthew chapter 2 verse 11. What guided the wise men to the place where Jesus was born? Was it the angel, the star, the shepherd, or Joseph? The correct answer is the star. Matthew chapter 2 verse 9. Final question. How long after Jesus was born was he circumcised? Was it seven days, eight days, 14 days, or 21 days? The correct answer is eight days. Luke chapter 2 verse 21. Here is something to think about. The birth of Jesus is the most remarkable story that we should tell each day of the year. Without the manger, there would be no cross. And without the cross, there would be no hope. And that can be found in Romans 9 and 1 Corinthians 15. God shows us his miraculous power in the birth of Jesus and his redemptive power in the life of Jesus. Let us celebrate Jesus every day.